Hi everyone! I'd like to show you how to configure a Layer 3 switch and a firewall when PCs access the internet through the Layer 3 switch and firewall. As shown in the figure, PC1 and PC2 access the internet through a switch and a firewall. The configuration roadmap is as follows. 1. Configure the switch as the gateway to implement forwarding across network segments through a VLAN IF interface and as the DHCP server to allocate IP addresses to users. 2. Configure NAT on the firewall so that PCs can access the internet. The USG is used as an example. The configurations of other firewalls are similar. Let's move to the configuration procedure. First, let's see the configuration procedure of the switch. Four steps are needed. Step 1. Configure interfaces connected to PCs as access interfaces and add them to VLAN 2 and VLAN 3 respectively. Configure corresponding VLAN IF interfaces. The IP addresses of the VLAN IF interfaces are PCs gateway addresses and in the same network segment as the IP addresses of the PCs. Step 2. Configure the interface connected to the firewall as an access interface and add it to VLAN 100. Configure the corresponding VLAN IF interface. The IP address of VLAN IF 100 is 192.168.1022.1. Step 3. Configure a default route. The next hop address of the default route is 192.168.100.1. That is the IP address of the firewall interface. Step 4. Configure the DHCP server. The DHCP server uses the interface address pool to allocate IP addresses to users. The configured DNS server address is a public one. In practice, use the DNS server address allocated by a carrier. Let's see the configuration procedure of the firewall. There are five steps. Step 1. Configure an IP address for the interface connected to the switch. The IP address is the next hop address of the switch's default route. Step 2. Configure an IP address for the interface connected to the internet. The configured IP address and the public IP address are in the same network segment. Step 3. Configure a default route and a return route. The next hop address of the default route is 200.0.0.1. This is a public IP address. The next hop address of the return route is 192.168.100.2. This is the IP address of the switch's uplink interface. Step 4. Configure zones and an interzone policy. Note that the interzone policy is enabled for all zones. If users require high network security, you can enable the interzone policy of specific zones. Step 5. Configure NAT so that intranet users can access the internet. Here, NAT is only valid for source IP addresses in network segment 192.168.0.0. NAT can also be configured in Easy IP plus interface mode. The switch and firewall configuration is complete. Let's move to operations. Step 1. Configure IP addresses and gateway addresses for the PCs. The IP address of PC1 is 192.168.1.2, and the gateway address is 192.168.1.1. The IP address of PC2 is 192.168.2.2, and the gateway address is 192.168.2.1. Step 2. Configure an IP address and a gateway address for the PC on the public network. 
The IP address is 200.0.0.1, and the gateway address is 200.0.0.2. Step 3. Configure the switch. Configure interfaces connected to PCs and corresponding VLAN IF interfaces. Run the VLAN batch command to create VLANs and batches. Add Gigabit Ethernet 002 and Gigabit Ethernet 003 to corresponding VLANs as access interfaces. Finally, create VLAN IF2 and VLAN IF3 and configure corresponding IP addresses. Step 2. Configure Gigabit Ethernet 001 connected to the firewall as an access interface and add it to VLAN 100. In doing so, the packets exchanged between the switch and firewall do not carry tags. Step 3. Configure a default route. The next hop address is the IP address of GE001 on the firewall. Step 4. Enable the DHCP server function on VLAN IF2 and VLAN IF3. Use the interface address pool to allocate IP addresses to downstream users. Configure the DNS server address. The switch configuration is complete. Let's see the firewall configuration. Step 1. Configure the IP address 192.168.100.1 for the downlink interface. Step 2. Configure the IP address 200.0.0.2 for the uplink interface connected to the internet. Step 3. Configure a default route and a return route. Step 4. Configure zones and an inner zone policy. Finally, configure NAT to translate private IP addresses to public IP addresses. So far, the firewall configuration is also complete. Let's check whether functions are available. Check whether the user PC can ping the PC on the public network. PC1 and PC2 can ping the PC on the public network. To obtain more information about common configurations and features of Huawei switches, you can refer to the All About Switches threads on Huawei's Enterprise Support Community site. You can find these threads by entering the following in Google's search field, open quote, all about switches, close quote, site, colon, Huawei.com. Then click any of the links displayed to enter Huawei's enterprise support community. All about switches threads describe typical configurations and address frequently asked questions about Huawei switches. For more details about features, please visit the community homepage. That's all for today's lesson. Thank you.